Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It has been a hot minute since we've been in this game, but we are back and with a car that not many people are actually talking or even doing anything with. Uh, this is the 718 Cayman GTS, brand new in the uh, weekly events for this obviously for obviously for this week if it's weekly and to unlock it you just do three little events but no one's really paying attention to it so i thought i would do it justice so what i'd do is i thought i'd come in and this could be a new series if you liked it you know tell me in the comments oh oh, oh i like that sound not as good as the old one but it's still nice anyway i thought i'd make this a series where I go out and test in these cars on my own, you know, see how they are stock and see what I can do with them when I upgrade them a bit. So let's see what this little Cayman can do. Now, right off the bat, oh, I love the Cayman's interior. That, that red, that red Speedo. Oh, that was a van. That red rev counter with the white needle it's just lovely and the alcantara wheel with the red stitch in it oh it's wonderful in here at the back obviously we have active aero again and you know my, oh oh my sucker for active aero now i will admit it doesn't wait a minute yo they actually got the key they actually bothered to render in the key. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, now obviously it doesn't sound as good because this is, uh, well, the new generation of smaller engines with bigger turbos, but if the performance that is there, the performance is there. So let's see what this little Cayman's got. Stock, it's S1 class. So already that's good, rear wheel drive. 360 horsepower from a 2.4 liter engine that is that's not bad at all and it only weighs 1.4 tons so it should be a hefty little sports car it has got quite a bit of torque so it should be a bit too happy but we'll see so we'll go to my favorite race track in this game not that one uh, haha that one So here we are at the Asmore Heritage Circuit. I love this circuit. It is so fast. It's very technical. If you screw it up, you're toast. But it's a very good little track. So let's get to it. Here we are in the event. So let's see what we've got on the stand group. This is a modern sports car. So let's see, we've got Audi TTs, Audi TTs, a Lotus Exige S, that's going to be quite good in the corners. Uh, a Bath 124, funny enough, you can't get that in England anymore, fun fact. A uh, Nissan 370Z, Avora S, a Bath 124, and we are all around that 808. The lowest is the Abarsa 802, so we actually are the highest at 808. The closest things behind us is the Avora and the Exige, but they're Lotuses, so they break down. Got a lot to live up to this car, so let's see what it can do. Tiny bit of wheel spin off the start, but nowhere near as much as I was expecting. Oh, it's very nice on the brakes lovely quick gearbox as well there we go oh seven and a half thousand rev range stock that's lovely take a tiny oh a, a tiny bit of understeer but that's nothing that's performance killing that's just me being a well i can't say the word but you know what i'm being so let's see if I can catch up to these guys. 
One thing I will say as I'm flooring it, it does not feel like a rear wheel drive car should feel. It does feel like a four wheel drive car, which is very odd because considering it had more torque than it does actual horsepower, I was expecting it to be like an SLS. Spinning its tail, see it's got its tail out a tiny bit, but nothing you can't snap back within literally one move of the steering wheel. Lovely gear ratios, we're up to fourth. But this car does not feel like a rear wheel drive. It's it's strange, but it's also lovely. Move up! You see, it can be tail happy when you want it to, but when you don't want it to, it does feel like a four wheel drive. Apart from that first launch where you're just stuttering because obviously it's a rear wheel and you're doing a flat out ball start. I mean, look at this. These Audis are four wheel drive and I'm gaining on them. And they've got, I think, more horsepower than me. Not the older version, but definitely the newer TTRS. I think that's close to 400 horsepower. Out, 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 that's fence. He hit me. Right, let's see if I can be good on this last lap and get a win for the stock. Oh, sure. I'm sorry, little Porsche, that I'm revving you hard, but I want to give you the win that you... Come on, come on, come on. No wheel spin under full throttle on a full downwards corner. This car has got some serious grip stock. I like this car. Right, now after that event, I am going to fast travel to the festival and see what I can do because obviously this thing isn't going to be hella quick but you know top of S1 I certainly think it'll be a good competitive competitive little racer so we'll see what we can do. So we're here in the upgrades, let's see what this car's got, so let's go to the custom. There are engine swaps, that's interesting. Right, so let's see what you could, ah. Oh. So you got the stock engine, or a 4 litre flat 6, which I'm guessing is from the 2019 GT3. Or the GT3 RS, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so that's a bit disappointing. Let me put a 918 engine. Uh, well, I'll keep it stuck there. Going, wait. Going four wheel drive makes this a worse car. Okay, let's do that. See if there's any body options, regular, Forza Aero at the front and Forza Aero at the back. So, okay, let's see what we can do. So here we are, we've got, we're going up from 1.8 G's to 2 G's, that's not bad. We're up to 570 horsepower now, and we're down to just under one and a quarter tons. So let's see what we can do now.
Right, so now that we're back out here, let's see. Oh, it already feels fast. Oh my god, it stops on a dime. Oh, oh, I love that backfire. Just, just listen. Oh, okay. Let's uh, go back to our race circuit and see what we can pull off again. So here we are back at the Asmore Heritage Circuit. Let's see what the competition has to offer today. Well, okay, instantly. Why? That, that's not going to stand. Why, why is there a Honda S2000 here? Okay, well, we've got more variety this time. We've got a Honda S2000, Morgan Aero, bleh, uh, Porsche Cayman, I, I really do like, I really do like that car. SLK, Jeremy Clarkson got annihilated in that thing in the old Top Gear. Uh, got another TT RS. We've got a, another Cayman, another Audi, another Audi, another Cayman, another Audi, and one Lotus. All right, well, let's see what this can do. Oh my God, it's quick off to start with a four wheel drive. Oh my God. It does understeer a bit more, but oh my God, it grips up at speed. And I haven't even got the full aero kit on this because I kind of like the look of the kit. Stop, why are you braking? Why are you braking? Okay, that's a good, that's a really nice. Oh, got distracted by the pet, sorry. We're already up to second and it's not even trying. I have kept the same engine cause I only engine swap when the original engine really is a wimpy little thing. But I kind of like this, it's got guts and plus it hasn't got too much power for the size and shape of the car and we just overtook him while talking. This, this car just doesn't care, it grips and goes and it revs for days. It just stitches corners together like a perfect blanket of perfection and driving pleasure. And if you think I'm being fancy, I'm not, I'm just an author, deal with it, it's how we think. Oh, I love hitting that 8,000 rev range. It's just got so much will and so much passion in this little car. Oh, I really like it. I really, really like it. Let's race a bit in interior view. Oh, the rev needle goes right to the top. So you know when to change, when the needle stops moving. Oh, and I love how Porsche, Porsche put the digital speed out along with the analog, so that when you're truly focused, edit, when you're truly focusing like this, you can just see exactly your speed along with the rev. I just love it. That's where I think they went wrong with the uh, Carrera S that got added to this game because it has a digital speedo for literally no reason. It's one of the stupid things like my Aston Martin ran because the pod is simply there to accommodate the screen. It's not multifunction like the Audi R8 that does that right because that's just one big screen and it changes. You can either have a massive instrument cluster or you can have a map with two little dials at the side so it looks like Mickey Mouse. Oh, that was a lovely lap. I wonder what lap time I did, I didn't even see. A 58.6. And the closest at the moment is a 101.5. Oh my God, 101.2 right at the end. 
still, that is two seconds a lot quicker than anything else as a modern sports car. That's insane. That's utterly insane. You know, I know everyone really doesn't like this car, but and no one really gave it attention when it came out because they were all interested with the Ital Design Zero Uno, which along with the rubbish name, it is quite a good car, a video of that coming soon. Um, but no, I really, really like this car because it's got guts. You know, it does make it, oh, I love that in the night with the all black out dash with just the white lights. Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a slut for the simple things. But anyway, though, I have been your host, Metal Gage. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. If you loved it, give us a big thumbs up. If you've got a challenge or you want to see me do anything in a game leave a comment down below i do read them and who knows it could be made a reality and thank you all very much for watching i will see you in the next video whatever that may be bye bye